What's up y'all, Sean here. So today, you guys are on the Samsung 360 Round. Um, this is a camera that came out in like 2018, um, and at the time it was about $11,000. Um, I picked it up on eBay for $400, um, so I got a little bit of a discount uh, since it came out. Um, but um, all, there's not much about this camera on the internet. So when I bought it, um, after I pulled the trigger, um, I was wondering if I could even use it. Um, I found an old Samsung phone that um, was on the uh, one of the accessories that works with this camera. Um, but uh, when I finally found the software, uh, the APK for that um, Samsung phone, um, it said, okay, you need to hook up a LAN, so I need to hook up a Wi-Fi um, router to the camera and then set the router to a specific IP address and then um, you know put my phone on the same network as that and then I can control the camera so there's no like Wi-Fi built into the camera um, so that was the first down um, but when I, I got it in the mail this, this afternoon and um, I just plugged it in to see what would happen um, and I noticed that the screen on top of the camera uh, was really good. Like, it was pretty plain and simple. Like, I just turned everything to auto and hit the record button just to see what would happen. Um, then I found the software, uh, downloaded it for Windows. It only works on Windows. Um, and I was able to export a 3D 360 video. Um, so the stitching software worked on my computer. So those are awesome. Um, the other thing is, this is meant to be a live streaming camera. You can live stream in 3D, 4K. Um, and I'll put up on the screen right now kind of what this camera looks like. Um, it's got 16 cameras all around. So you basically have 8 3D 180 cameras in a circle. And then you've got one on top. You don't have anything on the bottom because they planned on you having a tripod underneath it and it not looking all that pretty. And you have to plug it in anyway, so you're just going to have a bunch of wires sticking out from the bottom of it anyway. Um, but I brought you guys out to this park uh, because I had to plug it in. Um, I don't have a battery solution for this camera yet. Um, basically what people do is they buy a power bank uh, that's 12 volts and they run it from the bottom. Um, so I don't have that scenario yet. I've got a lot of power banks, but they're all USB-C. Um, none that has the connector that I need for this camera. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, it also has microphones all around it, so we're recording audio, like 360 audio. Um, this is a professional 360 camera. This is one of those cameras that was so expensive that you had to have a VR company to purchase. Um, and... I've been noticing them on eBay for anywhere between $400 to $600, um, and I almost bought one for $600, but then I saw one that nobody had bid on, and the starting bid was $400, and I was like, well, oh, throw $400 on that and see what happens. Um, so for the same price as a GoPro, <laughs> I bought a $11,000 360 camera. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to put this here you guys can look around um, I'll show you guys kind of the stitching um, so this is me coming up to the camera and this is me going away um, so yeah um, the other one thing that's really cool is I could export in 3d 360 um, 2d left eye or right eye and then I could also export all the individual video files. So it creates one file that is kind of a packaged file with a whole bunch of video files in it, the audio file, and then all of the data from the camera, like, um, like the gyroscope or the accelerometer in the, in the camera and stuff like that. Um, so I was able to export all of those different things, or you could just split up the, it's kind of like a, a package on a Mac or like a zip file. Um, that just has a different extension that's um, proprietary to Samsung. Um, 
but the Samsung Gear 360 was one of the first 360 cameras I ever owned, um, and it was amazing at the time. Um, but they never jumped on the bandwagon of stabilization, so I haven't been able to use those cameras ever since Rilo and Insta360 just made amazing stabilization 360 cameras. Um, I'm sweating like a dog right now because it is a heat index of 109 degrees. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll let you guys look around. All right, y'all, so now you're kind of in the middle of nature. Not really, you're in a public park, um, but I got a 50-foot um, extension cord that's green going all the way to the pavilion that's pretty much hidden in the grass. I'm, I mean, I'm sure if you looked around, you could see it, and if I wanted to hide it a little bit better, I could. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got, you can hear all the cicadas, all the bugs in the trees. Um, and so I wanted to see what this um, this would sound like, um, and I wanted to get a good look at the sky with this shot. Um, the park bench there, see if the stitch lines are good. I'm going to do a walk around around the camera, and um, I'm going to walk what I think is a safe walk, and let me know if the stitch lines mess up, okay? So that was me walking about three feet away from the camera. Now we're going to get closer to the camera, which you should never get this close to a 360 camera. I'm about arm's length, okay? So the stitch line should mess up here at this angle. But yeah, let me know how this sounds in the comments. I said sounds. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the final shot. Um, the sun is going down. We have a half-eaten birthday cake over there that's just sitting there. It's kind of gross. Actually, this whole place is grossing me out. Um, it looks like someone had a party here and then just didn't, didn't clean it up, which is pretty disgusting to me. Um, but, yeah, look around. That's the Pelican case that came in and I'm dripping with sweat. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this shot. So that was it, y'all. Hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos on 360 cameras, drones, action cameras, all the good stuff, y'all.
Have a wonderful day. Peace out.